Okay, so as before, or as after, depending what order you're watching these, <laughs> this is our PAX West Focus Games roundup of stuff. Our favorite games, our most anticipated games, the best games that we saw at PAX West 2016. In our opinion. In our opinion. Well, it's our best. Like, I mean, if, you, if you're taking this as someone else's, like... You know, let's get this out of the way. If you're this is the internet's best list. He has the internet's best list. If you are Represent offended, the internet. if you're offended by someone's personal opinion, let's go fuck yourself. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just putting that right out there. Feel free to uh, post it in our YouTube channel. I will happily talk to you. I will happily talk to you because you know what? It's opinions. Uh, if you don't like our opinions, what are your opinions? I'd love to discuss your opinions. And that's not even a joke. That's not me being a sarcastic asshole. I genuinely would. That being said, these are our opinions, the two of us, Justin and Josh. He's the Justin. I'm the Josh. Discussing from constantly calibrating our first media experience, our favorite games of PAX West 2016. With that, we're going to talk about Chasm. Yes, we're going to talk about Chasm. So um, we went to actually go preview uh, Mages uh, Australia. Mm-hmm. Which uh, actually Dan Edelman is the one who. Yeah, I'm actually gonna. Yeah, let me say what. If you say, well, oh, are you ready? Were you gonna read it off? Yeah, I was gonna read it. Oh, off. Oh, you're gonna read it off. I was okay. just trying to give them introductions. Um, I didn't know the whole story. Now okay. I'm just gonna jump I to the end. I was gonna give you or the middle. <laughs> I mean, we could start at the end and generally work our way back to the beginning, as some stories are told. But <laughs> tell us about Dan Edelman. Yes. Yeah. Right, presented by Dan Edelman. Um, but um. Yeah, uh, while we were doing that, he kind of finished it. By the way, Miss Australia, uh, Majors Miss Australia, also interested in. Very interested in. It's just, uh, it, again, like this, these lists, uh, don't diminish the other games. Are, no. are, uh, there's no runners up, there are honorable mentions necessarily. It's just, these were the ones that enticed us the most. But I'm actually, I'd say 99.9% of the things we saw, I'm actually interested in. Yes. To some degree. We actually did a good job picking out stuff that we knew we would like. So, as I said, still setting up the stage. Um, after we finished that demo, um, he, Mitch is trying to uh, check out Chasm as well, which they had there. Mm-hmm. And uh, at the time, we had to run to another um, appointment. But while you were playing Beat Cop, I decided to head back. Mm-hmm. So, uh, Chasm pretty much is a, it's a 2D um, hack and slash Metroidvania style game. So as Dan explained to us, it's more Vania than it is Metroid. Mm-hmm. And as I played it, that is uh, 100% true. Mm-hmm. Um, as you play it, like, um, it is the most Ega style Castlevania or I don't call it Egavania, as some do, uh game since Cynthia Night, I think. Okay. Granted, I know Bloodstain's coming out and that's gonna take the cake. This is being the Ega game because it's been done by Ega uh Ega Rush. But anyways. I've never played it. Actually, that's not true. I've never played more than thirty minutes of a Castlevania game. I don't know. Going on you. On. And I'm picking up uh, it's just the Night because that's what it reminds me of. I know like the DS ones are in that style sort of Game Boy Advance, but it's not the same. This, like, just everything about it. Uh, you kill enemies, you can get loot, just as you did something at night. I hate to compare one game against the other, but it paints the best picture on top of what the footage we're showing. Mean, it, at least, it, using comparisons at least give people an understanding of how stuff works. Yeah. But also, that's how they present it to us, too. Uh, <laughs> So, like, uh, you pick up items. When you hit something, like, you actually see the hit points fly off them. Uh, just how it controls feels very nice, very fluid, very deliberate. And uh, on top of that, like, it's pixel art. It's yeah. not 2.5D. It's actual pixel art. Hmm. And that is another part reason why I did definitely get this um, a look. Because, like, even Bloodstains are going to be pixel uh, or it's going to be that's 2.5d as well so like we don't see this anymore because pixel art is not easy to do it's actually more expensive now mm-hmm. um but it is that style of the game it's a big overworld um as i mentioned like metroid vania more vania than metroid um it feels more like castlevania but there's a lot of metroid elements in too you do kind of you do definitely come up against bosses as you become in any game and then uh, you actually get power-ups to help you progress out throughout the level too, which you'll see both games, but there's actually like a something you hit and it pops up and you grab it kind of like more reminiscent of a Metroid when you like pop up and whatever you need to, to get a power up there. I say with that, cause I don't remember exactly what you pop. It's usually a ball. It depends which one you're playing. Anyways, okay. <laughs> for instance, in this, in this case, uh, the one I got to play in a demo, like uh, you fall down like a big hole. You can't get back out of it. You go along, you fight the boss. And after that, you get the power up to let you grab onto the ledges. And then you can kind of get your way back up. So God, it's just awesome for anybody looking for like something that really embodies the old Metroidvania style of games. 
keep eye on this. I want to say pick it up because like forgive it's already. Um, it's not. Um, but yeah, keep your eye on this. And did that press release, and you know it says the information right in there. Yeah, but it's on your phone and it's already locked. So <laughs> here, I mean, let's let me. Let me uh, but uh, let you know, um, why it's pulling up. Uh, I dare definitely like planning to do on PC, same PC they're doing, trying to do Windows, Mac, and Linux. Yeah. So okay, PS4, PC, PS4 as well, Mac and Linux. Uh, prices to be announced. Target release date is 2016. There we go. Uh, but. I really enjoyed this game. Everybody was just watching, everybody playing it, eager to try it out. It, God, it's just so good. It feels so good. I mean, yeah, you were really hyped up on it. It's kind of funny that we both played our on, um, semi-unexpected games show at mm-hmm. the same time. Dan, the only way you can make this better if you get the team to actually put it on Vita. <laughs> Sane. Yes. <laughs> bring it to the Vita Island. But uh, <laughs> Bring it. We'll happily welcome it. Uh, but um, my only big complaint, as I say big, is um, I do feel like the sprites are a little too big. Um, which kind of like ruin, I don't want to say ruin, but Metroid is Super Metroid, or Castlevania to Super Castlevania. And for some reason, when you hit the Super Nintendo, they feel like everything needs to be bigger. True. Where they actually take up like a good size of the screen. That's my only issue with the game. Um, but other than that, it's pretty awesome. And also, like, Dan actually helped get, like, stuff like Axiom Verge off the ground as well, which is another Metroidvania-style game. That one more Metroidvania. Uh, <laughs> along with the damn hab. Um But, yeah, I, like, it's just really good. It feels great. It feels like if you're looking for that type of game, like, look look no further. It's right there. That's awesome. I mean, uh, not necessarily my style personally, but I, I, I like... The sound of it, at least. <laughs> it's good stuff. Uh, and as the sound, um, which I got every single game we played, like had great soundtracks, great uh, this sound was, effects. This actually feels like the year of like the great sound track, sound effects. They like, like no, it's an important thing. <laughs> it's like really sound design has come a long way in the last couple of years. And uh, as a person who never gave a flying fuck about it, uh, I'm now noticing it and really appreciating it. And just about every game we looked at had just amazing, whether it's chip tune, whether it's orchestra, whether it's just dubstep even or, ED, or EDM music. I mean, like everything I've heard has been just really good. It, even if it's not a style of music, I particularly like it. If it, it fits the game, it's really cool. Like I'm really impressed with uh, a lot of the sound I heard on the show floor, even from games I didn't play. Oh yeah, definitely. Um, but that's about all I got. Yeah, give it a look. Um, with that, you know, uh, more of these videos coming up. We bid you good sign off.